the free event at Georgetown Prep highlighted a variation on the racket sport. In 2001, Raquel Godin contracted bacterial meningitis and had less than a 10% chance of living. She survived but her legs had to be amputated and most of her fingers were either partially or fully amputated. Today, the 49-year-old Gaithersburg resident tries to help other amputees adjust. Godin works as an amputee care coordinator with Hanger Clinic, a Washington, D.C.-based orthopedic rehabilitation center that co-sponsored Montgomery County's first Barra Standing Tennis Clinic on Sunday at Rockville's Georgetown Prep Tennis Club. She joined 15 other para-athletes who attended the pop-up clinic, and each had a volunteer helping develop their tennis skills. According to Paralympic.org, there are eligibility requirements for para-athletes, including visual, intellectual and muscle power impairments, as well as limb deficiency. Godin wants to encourage others who have experienced profound challenges. These events show there is so much life after limb loss, she said. You don't know until you try it. The event was also organized and sponsored by Chevy Chase siblings Bodida, 16, and Maya, 18, founders of Adaptive Tennis DMV, a non-profit organization focused on supporting and growing the Paris standing tennis community. The two tennis enthusiasts are trained by College Park-based Junior Tennis Champions Center, JTCC, which also sponsored the free event. They learned about Paris standing athletes by volunteering with JTCC's Adaptive Tennis events. As a result, the siblings started Adaptive Tennis DMV in 2023 to share information, promote volunteerism and partner with local organizations to provide opportunities in adaptive tennis. The clinic is giving more people a new community and love for tennis, said Maya, a senior at Georgetown Day School in Washington, D.C. It's been incredible to watch the players grow and develop and become more confident on the court. Adaptive Tennis DMV also provides players with such resources as court time, one-on-one -on -one practice, specially designed para-standing athletic equipment, competitive para-standing tournaments and a sense of community. Sunday's clinic highlighted an emerging sport designed for those with physical disabilities who prefer to play standing rather than playing in a wheelchair. Tennis players with ambulatory disabilities are currently excluded from mainstream competition, including the Paralympics, according to ParastandingTennis.com. It's a very fun and rewarding position to be in, helping these players with their journeys, Bodhi said. Both he and his sister worked one-on-one -on -one with para-athletes during Sunday's clinic. Advocates say para-standing tennis is an important next phase in expanding the tennis community and making the sport more inclusive and diverse. Not a lot of people are aware that there is even an aspect of para-standing tennis, it's always been able-bodied tennis or wheelchair tennis.